my very first Shameless Season 1 episode review video. In my history with the television show Shameless, I had never watched any of it. And then I knew the final season was happening, and I had a roommate that really liked Shameless. And I started binging it like three months before the final season aired. And I want to say I got caught up to the new episodes on Season 11, Episode 6 or 7, so I was able to watch it live from that moment on. And I've never done a Shameless review before. However, I did do a Shameless rant on this channel, which I'll put at the end of the video so you can check it out, my rant on the series finale of Shameless, because I'm not really thrilled about it. But before I go into all those details, if you're not caught up to the point where I am, if you're watching, you're watching Shameless, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Shameless Season 1, Episode 1, titled Pilot. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. And I'm not necessarily in Shameless mode right now, so maybe my first couple reviews of it might not be the best, but I'll get into the groove of covering this show, which was really good for a while, and then it started to fall off. But Frank starts out with talking about all of his kids, and minor spoiler, it kind of sounds like the speech given at the end of the series in the episode that I can't stand that I will put the video of my rant at the end of the video. He says, they all know how to party. Fiona passes around a box to pay the electric bill. Carl takes somebody's bike. I think it was Carl, as far as I know. Lip goes to Karen's house to help her study for a midterm, and we are introduced to Sheila, Karen's weird mom that's afraid to leave a house and wants to put your shoes in a plastic bag when you come over. While studying, Karen decides to give Lip a blowjob while Sheila, her mom, is right there in the kitchen. Lip finds nude male pics of, of uh, well, he finds nude male pics behind uh, a stand, or Ian's stand, um, which had the, the cover of it was females, but inside it was all male, so that's pointing to Ian being homosexual, uh, which we talk about more later on. And V and Fiona go to the club. Uh, somebody steals Fiona's purse, and then Steve, who is eyeing Fiona, tries to stop the assailant. Unfortunately, he is unsuccessful. And the doorman won't let Fiona, V, and Steve back into the club. And then Steve, out of nowhere, hits him with a pretty good shot. Lip tells Ian about getting a blowjob from Karen. Kevin comes over to get keys from V, finds out Steve decked the doorman, doorman and Kevin is uh, pretty impressed. V and Kev talk about Steve, but it turns out V was fibbing, as Kev is just a little gullible for stories. Uh, Steve and Fiona start making out, uh, which leads to sex. Out come the titties. Emmy Rossum is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely adore her. It's one of the reasons why I kept watching this show, and the fact that it was a good show initially. Uh, Fiona is almost about to climax, and then there's a knock at the door. Fiona runs upstairs, and then Steve answers the door, and it's Tommy, who's a police officer, bringing Frank home, who's wasted, and just put us, puts him on the floor and he's passed out, and Steve wonders who the hell that is, and Fiona says and tells him that it's her dad. As Steve is going to leave, he notices all the kids looking out the window, uh, paying attention. Well, maybe not all of them, but uh, Lip, Ian, and Carl, maybe Debbie. And then the next morning, Frank goes right to the alibi, since it's disability day. Kevin can't believe that they haven't caught Frank yet. Kevin cashes out Frank's check, and there was no sight of Kermit and Tommy in this. Again, I've only watched all these episodes one time, so I was expecting to see Kermit and Tommy, and I was disappointed. I'm sure I'll see them soon. Uh, but uh, Steve comes back over in the afternoon and wants to know what Fiona's schedule is for Friday. Fiona thinks that he's just there for a fuck. Fiona tells Steve she's not looking right now, so Steve says he's going to leave his phone number Lip and Ian go to Karen's and more weirdness from Sheila. 
Karen's dad, Eddie, catches Karen giving Ian a blowjob from under the table. He says the more they run, the more he'll kill them as they're running out and he's potentially going to follow him or them, I should say. And then we have a delivery for the Gallagher. Somebody bought them a new washer. Hmm, I wonder who that is. While Ian... Wait a minute, what did I put here? While Ian is at V and Kev's, he sees Kev because he's going to get... Lip hurt his ankle and he's going to get some drugs and some things for that. He sees, he sees Kevin laying on the bed with his junk out as he is completely naked. And obviously Ian is... Uh, it's very interested in that. Uh, and we find out, of course, that Steve bought the washer. I think he's a keeper. Eddie, of course, is still furious with Karen. Fiona calls Steve and wants to know how much he paid for the washer. Fiona wants to know if Ian got some girl pregnant because the way that they got home and the way they've been like scared of people coming over. And he assures her that that didn't happen. Frank, of course, is passed out on the floor again. Fiona is stressed and she wants to take it out on Frank like, hey, I do all this work, I want some fucking appreciation, but all you do is drink and are passed out all the time. But Frank is sound asleep, he's not waking up for anything, unfortunately. Uh, and then we see that Debbie puts a pillow under Frank's head because Debbie at this point really liked Frank. Of course, that will change in future st seasons. And then Fiona calls Steve again. She finds out that Steve was really paying attention to her. He tells Fiona she makes him want to enjoy his life again. And then Fiona meets up with Steve, uh, walks over to Fiona and gives her a kiss. And then Steve takes Fiona out for dinner. They start arguing a little bit there and he is going to leave. But then he lets her know that uh, he doesn't just buy and sell cars. He just sells them and the cars aren't necessarily his. And then we have Lip back over at Karen's place. Lip wonders if Karen made Ian hard. And she's like, oh, not really. A little bit, but no, not really. Frank wakes up and he's really concerned about this new washer. Like, where did this come from? How did we get the money for this? He just can't believe that it's there. Uh, Lip goes to the convenience store where Ian works and finds out that Ian is actually fucking cash who is the, I don't know if he's half owner of it, or his wife owns it, uh, but he's married with a daughter and uh, has kids, of course. And uh, that's what Lip tells Ian. Like, how could you do such a thing? Uh, Fiona and Steve show up late at the house, and Frank is actually up and asks Steve a bunch of questions. So Frank didn't get wasted today yet. <laughs> uh, Frank wants to know who paid for the washer. Frank says he likes Steve. Kevin V come over as they start playing loud music and let the party begin, jamming out to shot, 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 shot shots, shots by Lil John or featuring, featuring Lil John. Uh, Steve and Fiona are in bed. Fiona is really into him. Of course, spoiler alert, when she finds out that he's Jimmy, she'll be a little pissed off. Yes, Jimmy, Steve, he has lots of different names he goes by in this show. I hate that when a show gives a character multiple names. Like, I learned the name initially, and now you're going to change it on me? You can't do that shit. And Steve has made everyone breakfast, as he thought it was Debbie's birthday, but it's really not. And uh, Frank, of course, is passed out now after the, the party that they had last night on the kitchen floor right next to them. And then The Way We Get By plays, which, minor spoiler, that's actually the song that plays in the finale of the show, which I did not remember. Again, I binge-watched all these like three months before the final season came out, and I caught up like on episode five or six, and uh, yeah, I don't remember a lot of stuff about that. So I was actually quite surprised to hear that uh, song. I don't know if they play it at all any, at any point in time during the show. Uh, aside from the finale, I know that in The Walking Dead, in the first episode, there's a song that plays at the end of the episode, and then Rick Grimes, who's the main character of The Walking Dead, for the first nine and a half seasons, they play that song on his last episode. So that's uh, something I didn't know about. So I was surprised to, surprised to hear it. So what did I think of this pilot of Shameless, uh, pilot episode of Shameless? Well, I really liked it. I thought it was good. I learned a lot about characters, maybe too many characters. They could have focused on maybe a couple, but I still really liked it. I'm going to give the episode a nine out of 10. My characters of the episode, I'll do a male, I'll do a female. I'm going to give Fiona the female character of the episode. I would say second place would be V. And then the male character of the episode, 
I'm going to give to Steve with strong showings from Lip, Ian, and Kev. So uh, you've heard what I have to say. Now, of course, it's your turn. Um, don't forget to smash that like button to, to help me out with the YouTube algorithm if you're a fan of Shameless. Uh, share the video with anybody you want or put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Please sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on the pilot episode of Shameless. What would you rate the episode? Who would be your male and female character of the episode? And then, of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget I'm going to put my Shameless rant right here. should be over here. Uh, so you can check that out. Of course, don't watch it if you haven't watched all the episodes of Shameless. It's a very popular video on my channel. Of course, it was over a year and a half ago, so the quality might not be the best, but I think I do a pretty good job. Uh, but don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Sure, your damn support. It'd be a part of something special. And JDev will return.